our other big story. We heard it time and time again in the campaign rhetoric, the possibility that the election system is rigged. With polls so close, worries are running high about voter fraud. And as we first reported at midday, one local city is dealing with dozens of possibly bogus registrations. Tonight on your side's Brandy Cummings spent the day looking into this problem. Brandy. Guys, this is so important that once the registrar noticed a discrepancy on several forms, she turned them over to the Commonwealth's attorney to begin a criminal investigation. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Newport News Electoral Board wants voters to have confidence in the process. The process is being followed. Newport News Electoral Board Chairman Sean Devlin wants to reassure residents now one week from Election Day that as an investigation into voter fraud is underway. There's always something that comes up and we have uh, the people in place with enough knowledge in the system that we'll be able to address that. Registrar Vicki Lewis told Tit on your side she noticed several applications with identical signatures so she turned them over to the Commonwealth's attorney Howard Gwynn. Gwynn told me he is personally looking into 30 33 applications that he believes are from third party organizations. According to Devlin, the investigation began because the process worked. I would like to ensure the uh, people of Newport News that our voting process, our registration process, is being followed by the letter of the law and that they can feel comfortable that everybody's going to get an opportunity to vote and it will be a fair and honest election. Gwynn told me over the phone false information on a voter registration form can range from a name, address, date of birth, or social security number. Submitting it could lead to a felony conviction of up to 10 years in prison. There's a process of law. Uh, if you break the law, the law is there to, you know, there's people there to monitor it. And, uh, you know, the Commonwealth attorney will investigate, uh, and that's their job. So our registrar is doing her job uh, in monitoring the registration process and turned it over to the attorney or the Commonwealth attorney to uh, do their process. Now, we got comments on this investigation from the candidates in the 3rd Congressional District. That's the seat currently being held by Bobby Scott. Scott expressed confidence in the process. Meanwhile, his opponent, Marty Williams, believes this is, quote, just the tip of the iceberg. You can read their full statements right now on wavy.com. Just look for this story. I'm Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.